So I am Glenn, and according to Stacy, I'm one of the big heads. Is that right? A big head? That big head? Not the big head. That's terrible. <laughs> I've probably always had a lot of sense of freedom, but I can say this, coming out of those years and into like after high school, um, while I was kind of making my faith my own, part of my journey was, um, I don't know how to put this, I, I was a little bit of a jerk. Um, because I made it more into uh, d uh, like duty and obligation and apologetics. And um, I made everything the intellectual side of my faith and defending it. And I'm going to be really, really good at this, but not because um, I want to be better in a relationship like I would with a friend or Angie or my family. I just wanted to be better at it because I just wanted to be better at it. And that's never a good thing in your faith because then it stops being relational. And, and, and part of it was sincere in that by that time I knew I was going into ministry and there was a part of me that I was like, God wants me to be a pastor? Like, that's crazy. Like, uh, you know, like, I have no business being a pastor. I, I, I was jumping off of cliffs and, and I was lucky to live through my rafting trips before I was 22. Um, but because I knew I was going in ministry, there was a part of me also that was like, okay, I want to take this seriously and I want to be, um, I want to have integrity. I don't want to be teaching something or advocating for something and not living it. Like that was really important to me. But I did it in this way of trying to get good at it, that, that it wasn't leading me into a, a better relationship with God. And, and kind of through my early 20s, I had, as I worked at it more and more, there was this strange thing that happened somewhere in my mid-20s that I realized I didn't like who I was becoming. Like that was a weird thing to go, the more I'm trying to do this the right way, the harder I'm trying, the more I'm not liking who I'm becoming. And the truth is, I, part of what hit me too was just uh, actually uh, studying part of the, the Gospels in Greek, of all things. I just got this different picture of Jesus and, and I was becoming less like Christ and not more like Christ. And that's where I was just like, something's wrong and I don't want to go this direction. And that began another huge journey in my spiritual life where I started looking at Christ in a vastly different way. And it was less about what I need to do and more about who do I want to become. And that changed how I read the Bible. It started changing um, how I studied theology. And, and now I look back and go, that, w that has been one long, slow road that was worth every step. So like I look at where I am now and I am so glad I didn't stay on the other path. And this path I think sometimes is uh, more difficult. It's fraught with more uncertainty at times, um, but, but there's a lot more joy in it and it takes a lot more faith and it does a lot. I love what it does with the relationships around me and the, and, in life. So if there was one thing that like I could say to a high schooler, maybe even a middle schooler, it would be about the sometimes craziness of high school, like at an emotional level. Like there are times when it feels like it is the end of the world relationships go south, or there are these huge disappointments, or there are things that it just, it feels like you've got less figured out than what you do have figured out. Um, and what I would say is in the midst of all of that, you're still good. Like, 
like God loves you. Like, like the thing that you will come to see looking back, and I feel very emotional about this after you ask the, you know, just asking the question, it's, it, it, that's the thing that when we, when we walk with God in the most honest of ways, where you're not contending to be something like what I, you know, I did that at, at times in high school and stuff, but just that very honest walk with God in the long run, what you come to see as you look back is that in, that you're good, that in God, like you're okay, that like there's nothing that caused his love to uh, waver with you, that your sense of worth and acceptance, like it's all there. And just because you can't feel it doesn't mean it's not real on God's part <laughs> and doesn't mean that God's not going to find a way to make that a reality in your life. So if you're at some confusing point or low point, I, I would want you to hear that, that and not to take anything away from the difficulty of what you're facing in that moment, but just know God will find a way. God will find a way and you'll be able to look back and see His grace and His love in profound ways.